Hello and welcome to the yeah very first box of English V Cross, the set number zero zero, Interlude Diva. Now this is a another like Nichi Sanji set or like yeah it got reprinted basically or a lot of the cards got reprinted in the latest Nichi Sanji set, but not all. And yeah, there are like some cards I probably like need or like want in my collection or want to build decks with. There's especially like the Super Halesta Saber piece. And yeah, this is a piece that got reprinted, but I I didn't pull it so far from my Nichi Sanji box. I, I will get, I will be getting Nichi, more Nichi Sanji boxes also, but they I don't know, the English release was like so much more expensive than I expected. <laughs> so yeah, I had I have to save some money first. So yeah, but I need like all or a lot of the the virtual signy because I, I want to build a deck with lies uh, the the white Elric and I only want to make it virtual like of course there are like some stable cards in white like Axia or Remember and I see a lot of deck builds that include them of course because they are just general very strong cards but for I don't know for flavor I feel like I want just a just a virtual deck, just all Nichi Sanji cards, even if it's not that strong. But yeah, we get the first no, uh, we get the first piece, and it's uh, I've pulled this before. I think I pulled this in my my box I opened for my German channel, where I yeah uh, sometimes when I get uh, three boxes of a set. I will be opening one box here, one in a live stream. And uh, the last box I will be opening on my German YouTube just to make a little bit more advertising for Vcross in German because, yeah, it's not really known in, in Germany. And maybe there's like some someone who's seeing my unboxing and gets interested. And even if there's like just one, one person, it makes a difference. Like the... The fan base in Germany is so small that every new person is uh, very welcome. And yet the first Azar of the box I talked over is Lulu. Uh, she she has a great design. I really like her. And she's also very strong. You can only play her in Sanpaka uh, decks. Or like, no, she you can play her, but then she doesn't have the effects. I think this was uh, the case. So she has a constant effect. You do not move cards from your life cloth to your trash due to refreshing. So she's like a anti-mill card. Oh, that's so cool. She has 12k, which is reasonable. Like I see some high utility or like some level 3 signy with a lot of effects. And then they are only 10k. And I'm always like, ah, I wish they were bigger. So good effect. And 12k is nice. And she has the action one per turn for one black and one colorless. Target Signy on your opponent field gets minus 10k. Power until end of turn. Put the top 10 cards of your deck into the trash. So yeah, you do self-mill by vanishing. But if you use this right, as the card effect says it, that you you don't get like to, to lose a, a life cloth. So... Especially in the late game, maybe you only have nine cards in your deck or ten. Then you can pay the two, two Anna to vanish an opponent's Signy or make it smaller. And then you have to refresh and have to pay no life cloth. I think that's cool. No! Is it only like some, some boxes have three pieces? But yeah, this is not Super Celesta Saber. Uh, maybe I have to just pick up the the single card, but it's it's a pain to get single cards here in Germany and Europe in general. I think it's a lot more difficult. I wish we had like V Cross on Card Market. I did wrote an an email or like a ticket to Card Market. I don't know if they have read it or maybe they are probably ignoring it or have not enough stuff to read emails, but. And they they include so many games or they they added uh, 
like Battle Spirit Saga. And this was like basically born dead here in, in Germany. I know that some people really, really like it. And I don't say you shouldn't or like that it's not a, I don't say it's a bad game. It's just that it's got no, no promotion. And here in, in Germany, it's like nobody knew that it existed. Uh, they did some some promotion, I think, with like some streamers and stuff, but it was mostly targeted to the English audience. But yeah, Card Market has Battle Spirit Saga, which makes just no sense. This is just that the you can you can get the booster displays there for like half the price of MSRP because no no one is buying that. So yeah, that's a. I would like to get her in foil. I don't know if I already pulled her once, but I really like her. Yuma Freeze assists Elric. Only in our main phase, freeze up to two target signal on your opponent's field. Your opponent's discards a card. So not at random, not a random discard effect, but for zero, freezing two. She sounds good. Haven't really seen a lot of decks with her, but not a bad card, I would say. Iris, Yuma, Neon Tetra, and okay, back to back. Are these be zoomed in or like bigger artworks of of the parallel foils? If we had like V Cross on card market, and there would be like a lot of a lot of cards available there, I would just pick up all sheep parallel folds of v-cross even the ones that see no play just want to to have them in the blinder because i think they are so beautiful and that's another playable card i think level three whenever the signy attacks until end of turn all signy on your opponent's field gets minus 1k power for each virtual signy on your field yeah so in a only virtual deck minus 3k and if Fuyuki Hakase is on your field, target Signy on your opponent's field gets minus 4k power until end of turn. So yeah, she can basically like delete one minus 7k in the first turn. Like this is an enter ability. But who is Fuyuki? Let me... I have to check the neck. Oh, another, another servant? The second foiled servant. Oh... That's cool. I will put these into my my virtual decks. I like both of them. I like this maybe a little bit more. Both of them are beautiful. That's cool. I don't remember getting two foil guards in one box. I think usually I only got like one. That's nice. But yeah, we are looking for Fuyuki. Is this the, the level 1 Signy? Uh, we've got Gan Ning. I think it's the, the black Signy. Maybe it's another one. Yeah, it is her. Fuyuki Hakase. The level 1 that I want. So she only has 1k, so she dies easily. But she has the enter ability. Target Signy on your opponent's feet gets minus 1k. Really nice. So you can like combine all the, the enter minus abilities. We have an assist at Vanish target Signy on your opponent's feet with power 7k or more. So yeah, she's a level 1 assist. And yeah, you, you will probably not play her like in your first first turn even there are like some some level one signals that get pretty big but yeah not often like in the first or second turn uh, mars oh yeah this is my third i think i pulled her in like every every interlude box i've opened so far but i don't know from the sr cards there is like there's a green, green Signy amino acid I would probably would like to get. 
assist anger would target Sydney on your opponent's field with power 10k or less into its owner's trash, but for one colorless. But yeah, into the trash instead of the inner zone is pretty nice. And one colorless is also like very important. Would it would it be like one red? You you would have been like more heavy red. But you can basically like splash her. Oh she's not red, she's white. What am I saying? I thought in my head that she's a a red uh, red Elric. But yeah, there's no color restriction to her effect, which makes her pretty nice. And yeah, versatile. Rotten Appetit and Parthenos, Code Ancients. This, how many SR did we get? Like the third? So there's still hope. Uh, she has the auto effect. During your opponent's turn, if this Signy would leave the field, you may instead turn it face down. If you do at the beginning of your following main phase, what? <laughs> Uh, after your next, if there is no Signy in the same Signy zone as this card, turn this card face up, and your opponent's discards two card. Okay. Yeah, this is a little bit weird, like with these face down effect. So Signy that are turned face down, it's basically like it's an open lane, or how, how am I supposed to understand this? I think it works like this. Slime Mage. Toko. Really like her character design. What is the next? Oh! Nui Sorcery. Our fourth, right? Am I counting? So, one last. One last SR to get. Ah, there's on, also like a white. White Signy that I need for building decks. It's the Himavari. Yeah, I, I need her. Sister Claire. One last shot. Yes! Oh. Yeah, I, I needed her for my decks and now getting like this fancy version. Oh. I thought that the secret rare in this set are always like Elric's. But you get like secret rares that are Zygni's. And this is the... My my unboxing. Sometimes I'm so happy that I record them because they are so scripted. I had it in a live stream recently where I was talking like I really want to get this card and while I was opening the pack it was there. Like like this time and the artwork is so beautiful with the sunflower. Such cute artwork. So let's check the effect. At the beginning of your opponent's main phase, reveal the top card of your deck. If that card is a virtual Signy, the Signy gains Shadow, and Shadow protects her from everything, like not only Signy or Elric, uh, until end of turn. And she has the action turn one, or uh, once per turn, for one white. Look at the top three cards of your deck, reveal a Signy from them, and add it to your hand. Put one of the remaining cards on top of your deck, and put the rest on the bottom of your deck, so yeah. You get like card adventure, you can uh, see what you will draw. It's a really good effect for one white. And she can protect herself, and that's so cool getting her in this. I will put her in my deck for sure, in my virtual deck. Really nice. Byleth, like a demon. <laughs> what a cool artwork. So, yeah, last. Last booster pack, and of course I haven't prepared my Force of Will pack because I was so distracted. So, but there will be a Force of Will pack to end this video. We have one last piece. Oh, this could have ended so well. If this piece would have been the Super Helesta, this would be like a god box. But it's... Uh, Counter Alchemy, until end of turn, target Signy on your opponent's field loses Assassin, Lancer, and Double Crush and cannot regain those abilities for two, for two colorless Anna. Mm. Yeah, so yeah, I'm still missing the, the Peace card, but I can pull it from 
from my Nichi Sanji boxes when I when I get more. I will be getting more just a question of, of money. But yeah. So let's see what's in the, the last Force of Will pack. Nothing. So yeah, thank you for watching. For more unboxings, please check out my channel. I do some some more cards than V Cross, but my main focus is V Cross at the moment. So yeah. Bye.